Let's learn how to create business entities in the Business Builder and SAP data sphere. Business entities can define measures or attributes. The underlying model is a viewer or table which has been created in the data builder. Business entities can be modeled as a dimension or as a fact. First, I'm going to create a dimension for my master data. Dimensions are generally used to contain master data and must have a key defined. As a data source, I select a table that has been created in the data builder. I select the properties that I want to copy from the source. I can select the package to which the object belongs. Packages are used to group related objects in order to facilitate the transport between tenants. I choose public data access to allow unrestricted access to this business entity. Keep in mind that in most cases, data restrictions need to be applied. I can define the version of my business entity to guarantee a smooth rollout of updates to my object without immediately affecting or even breaking other entities. As I have chosen to take over the properties, my dimension already has attributes and a key. I add some measures. I can use input parameters if the underlying view has input parameters defined. I verify the key. I create an association. The associated business entities will be available as dimensions when I create a consumption model. Via association context, you can provide information on the context of the association within your business entity. I set the status to ready to use so that the users know that this business entity is ready. Now I'll create a fact for the transactional data. Facts are generally used to contain transactional data and must have at least one measure defined. I choose my data source. I can select the package to which the object belongs. I select measures and attributes. I define a key and verify it. Then I create associations and enter the field on which these entities are associated. I set the status to ready to use so that the users know that this business entity is ready as well. Now I have created my basic models upon which I can create a consumption model. That's it so far. Stay tuned for more video tutorials on the business builder. Check out help.sap.com for more information. Thanks for watching.